drug of choice. Whether you realize it or not, you are a drug dealer. Not literally, of course. With every lyric that you write, every record that you promote, and every action that you take, you're either selling hope or fear. The things that you do outside of the booth and off the camera have just as much as an impact on your fans as the things that you do in the spotlight. You would either give them hope, which is like a stimulant drug, or you would instill in them fear, which is like a depressant. Be careful not to do or say things that are a disturbance to the belief and values that your fans may have. Instead of trying to make them see the world in a new light, make them feel good about the things that they have chosen to believe. Conspiracy theories work in Hollywood because a movie has at least an hour and a half to deliver a story that exposes the truth and still give the viewer hope. However, three and a half or four minutes isn't enough time for such a thing. It can be heartbreaking to an eight-year-old child when he learns that Santa Claus, a concept in which he believed in so many years, isn't real. Try to imagine how disturbing it could be as an adult when you tell them the values that they've held for decades are wrong and meaningless. People tend not to support those who cause disturbances in their way of life. Fear never really sells well in the marketplace because many people choose hope as their drug of choice. Sell it, but don't get high on your own supply.